Kim Kardashian has been having a lot of career fails lately, especially with all the bad publicity she's been getting from being tied to Diddy's cases and criminal activities, and Taylor Swift dragging her through the mud on her Thank You Amy diss track, and she recently resorted to using Bianca's name as a diversion to shine a light on herself again, change what has been negatively said about her, but it has all backfired because people have now realized her tricks. So guys, this one is a doozy, so make sure you watch up until the end because Kim Kardashian is really getting finished. So Kim Kardashian, because of all the said hate and bad publicity she's been getting recently, she decided to steal all the attention from Bianca Sensori to shift the narrative where she went on her Instagram to post pictures of herself with more than daring similarities of her. So she rocked short pink hair with very tiny tops and shorts with thigh high boots and this whole look all together gave Bianca Sensori and that was fine enough at least for Kim Kardashian because she's used to using that infamous technique of hers to draw attention to herself but this time around nothing prepared her for how much worse it would turn out because people are now tired of her resorting to the same things all the time. In fact, others said that she's now trying to seduce Bianca Sensori's husband, Ye, which I can not say that it is totally out of the realm of possibility because she's been trying to do it for a long time, but most of the time she has always done it looking for attention. One of the most recognized instances is when she decided to show up at one vulture's listening party where she sat next to Bianca Sensori in order to create a headline worthy moment. And when I say hanging out, I mean they were both there in the area together side by side watching the show and I guess both there to support Kanye as well as Northwest who made an appearance during the show. She did that to put a light on her name because people had kind of forgotten about her and her existence and she wanted to kind of bring herself to the public again and what better way to do it than twinning with the new wife of her ex-husband. She did that and word on the street is that her PR teams also had part in having that moment go viral the way it did. What shows that it was really forged and not as genuine as she tried to make it look is the way that Bianca Sensori ignored her when they seated next to each other as she spent most of her time filming her husband instead of listening to what the reality TV star was telling her. However, that's not all that she did because no, she didn't stop at that as she went ahead and did more and more things that only pissed off her fans and yet fans because of how much she was overdoing it. So she has actually been doing this as long as Bianca Sensori came in the spotlight where ever since she started changing her ways and in the very beginning she did a bizarre magazine cover shot where she totally abandoned her true identity and portrayed Bianca's where she paraded a pixie like hairstyle and thin eyebrows which all together gave her a more Bianca identity than hers and this surprised people of how she's copying the new wife and doing things she never did before. So ever since, she made more headlines copying Bianca Sensori than she did for her business and her reality TV career. Well, there wasn't even much news about her because people no longer found her interesting, which is one of the reasons she had resorted to this tactic of using Bianca Sensori's name. So the majority of the headlines she made this last couple of months have been about copying the Australian architecture designer where another big comparison happened when she donned a fur coat just a few days from when Bianca had worn it. And what was even worse about that is that she posted those pictures on Bianca's birthday, which further solidifies that she was either subtly attacking her or wanting to draw more attention to herself. 
Well, she didn't stop there either because she also went on another occasion to now not only copy fashion or clothes but also parenting techniques and this was the final straw for many people because they couldn't just stand the things she was doing, especially being on a level that she was copying how she treats the kids. So a few hours before the whole internet would blast her, Bianca Sensor was seen carrying Chicago at one of her dad's listening parties and the five-year-old was looking rather sleepy which i guess had her carry her like that in the first place but just a few hours later their pictures made it in the news again as part of a comparison between how she did it and how kim immediately copied the same thing well Kim Kardashian is apparently so committed to being a little copycat because she even recently did it again when she and her sisters went on a spring vacation in the Turks and Caicos where she took pictures which also grabbed the attention of many and as well raised eyebrows. So Kim Kardashian was seen in a picture by the ocean where many people said that she looked so like Bianca Sensori and some people even said that she had to have the pictures edited in order to look like her. So they were interested in this because they were convinced that her face doesn't look that natural because of the many plastic surgeries and all that and that she had to do some editing to look as natural as her. Well, amidst all of this, sources ever came out to say that Bianca is not fond of what the reality TV star is doing because she didn't want to be in the news or have her name alongside hers all the time and even threatened to do something in case she doesn't stop. She wasn't alone though. Even her husband Kanye West also added on that where he was also reportedly mad about it, mad about the way that Kim Kardashian was using his wife's name to get attention and one of the reasons he hated it was because he doesn't like Bianca Sensori to be in the news a lot because he doesn't want her to be exposed to the internet hate directly which also explains why he kept her away from social media. So basically Ye and Bianca are totally not happy about this and this means that Kim Kardashian may never like the outcomes of what she's doing. But I feel like never has she and that Bianca Sansori looked more alike than I think in these photos of Kim. Like it's truly insane. Anyways guys, we have come to the end of today's video and I want you to tell me what you think about this. If you really believe that Kim be doing this to grab attention or if you believe there's another hidden reason behind her obsessing over Bianca Sensori. Thank you for watching. Let us meet here on my next video discussing more entertainment news and updates. Don't forget to like and subscribe on my channel.